Shalom. So really quickly, I wanted to come and share some very, very powerful wisdom with you all. It's actually kind of scary what I'm about to say to you, but most people, they won't even receive what I'm about to say. They'll just dismiss it because although they claim that they believe in the supernatural power of the living God, they don't actually believe in the supernatural power of the living God. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. This is facts. But for those of you who are able to hear me with your spiritual eye, if you're able to receive me with your spirit, then I need you to hear me. There are billions and billions of angels, spirits, angels who have transformed into spirits who are roaming this earth right now, and they are looking for bodies to possess. These evil spirits can possess our bodies anytime they feel like it, and we do not have to give them permission to do so. No one understand that. There are spirits who come in and out of our bodies all day long, anytime they want to, and we don't even realize we are being possessed. We don't even realize that an evil spirit is coming into our body and controlling our thoughts, controlling our body, controlling the things that we do. We don't even realize it. This is real life. This is why when you see people doing things that are so evil and you can't understand how could somebody do something like that because the evil spirit has come to possess them and has used their body to do what they wanted to do. This happens all day, every day. Every day. And the only way to stop evil spirits from possessing you because they possess every single body on the earth. Nobody is exempt from the evil spirits possessing you. The only way to stop the evil spirits from coming to possess you is through the power of Jesus Christ. This is why Jesus died. People just say, oh, Jesus died for our sins. No, Jesus died so that the Holy Ghost could be sent down. The Holy Spirit could be sent down to those who believe believe in Jesus. And when you say believe in Jesus, it's not just saying you believe in him. It's loving him and keeping his commandments, doing what he tells you to do. If you love him from your heart, he sends his Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit to come and possess your body, the Holy Spirit that counters the evil one. And that Holy Spirit, when it comes inside of your body, it blocks the evil spirits from coming in. That Holy Ghost is like a shield it protects you from the evil. Now the Holy Ghost is keeping the evil from coming into your body. And now the Holy Spirit is able to use you now. Now the Holy Spirit is able to speak through you and act through you and dwell through you. But without that Holy Spirit, the evil spirits can have their way. But the Holy Spirit will not dwell inside of you with the evil spirits. Your body is a temple and it can hold as many spirits as will come. So once the Holy Spirit comes in, the evil leaves. They kick the evil out. It's a fighter. It fights against the evil and the evil spirit has to go. And now the Holy Spirit is dwelling inside of you and protecting your body and keeping your temple holy and pure from the evil. But the only way to have the protection is through Jesus and through faith in Jesus and through the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, you are not protected and you are a playground for Satan and his evil angels. Know and understand that. This is the word of the almighty God.